We want students to be engaged while they're in the classroom. We want them to feel excited to come to school each and every day. And when they are proud of the schools, we're going to see tremendous gains in their academic performance. Our parents add value to our educational program, and we want them to feel comfortable as they enter inside of our school as we educate their children. But it's us working together to move our kids forward. That's where our success lies. Our learning environments are smaller and more personalized, more closely knit staffs that are collaborating in professional learning communities on behalf of their students, and really smaller student groups that are much more personalized amongst their peers. My role is to make sure students are provided an excellent education in the classroom. I will work with uh, all of our district leaders and our principals to make sure that our curriculum is strategically aligned, making sure that we are very clear on what students are expected to know and be able to do and how we're going to go about assessing our students and making sure that they have successful experiences each and every year. Our advanced placement program offers 26 advanced placement courses. You will not find a school district around for miles and miles that has that many offerings. So what that means for students is beginning uh, really with their freshman year, they are able to take advantage of the advanced placement courses, which can result in college credit upon successful completion of the exam taken each spring. Currently we have almost 600 students in AP classes out of a high school of about 1,800. That's remarkable. Youth Apprenticeship allows our students to get uh, work skills and they're able to work in a business environment and gain the uh, skills necessary to become employed. They help expose students to as many career paths as possible so they can help make an informed um, decision when they leave our high school. Project Lead the Way is a nationally recognized uh, program and curriculum. Beloit Memorial is fortunate enough that we have two different pathways, one in engineering and one in uh, computer science. Students actually get a credit from MSOE while still in high school. Those students, upon successful completion of a course, also qualify for elite scholarships offered to only Project Lead the Way students to the Milwaukee School of Engineering. You can walk into our Career and Technical Education Center and you will feel that you are in a technical college because the equipment is the same, if not better. With our one-to-one -one devices, this gives us a great opportunity to make sure we really explore how we can be innovative in a classroom. It also allows students to become better equipped for the digital age and for that digital workforce that ultimately they will become a part of. National board certification is very rare, much more rare than doctorates and dissertations in education. This is a professional that not only did the work to get the certification, but this is a professional who has demonstrated and continues to demonstrate a true goal of lifelong learning. In the state of Wisconsin, only about 1% of teachers um, have the National Board Certification. So when you look at Beloit's teaching population size, we are at or above the state average. The Performing Arts Program at Beloit uh, School District has afforded my kids ability to get scholarships to study their respective careers through the instruction, the teaching, the uh, broader knowledge that uh, they receive going to the Beloit High School. We invite parents to come along with us on this educational journey as we move our schools from good to great. We are Beloit proud. You will find that our graduates consistently tell you whether they go off to the workforce or technical college or four-year college, they consistently report that they feel far more equipped to meet the demands of modern day life and interact with people from all walks of life and all backgrounds, racial, religious, socioeconomic, because they went to Beloit schools. I guess the real question is, why wouldn't you send your kids to Beloit schools?